up everybody, Boka Boy here and welcome to the channel. This video I've made because it's been requested by a number of you guys, it is the GTA 5 Director Mode Trailer Glitch, where you can make some awesome modded outfits for your online characters. Now this glitch hasn't been covered on the channel for about 6 months or so, it's actually been going a lot longer than that. Um, there are many founders to this amazing glitch, including myself. I was the one to find the 100% save method to get every outfit online every time. Others like Nick Gore and the Beat Junkies, who are legends in the GTA glitching scene. My boys Shift, Reaction Mods, Fiendin666, Next Gen Unit, Just Blazed. Uh, that's just to name a few guys. There is loads, as I say, and they will all be in the description below. Now, this is a long process, but the outcomes are worth it. If you have the time and patience to put into this glitch, because like I say, you can make some awesome modded outfits using it. This video is going to show you everything you need to know about the DM trailer glitch, how to make the best outfits, like true GTA 5's freeze method. You can freeze things like the Christmas masks, gun belts, etc. onto every outfit as well as many other tips and tricks that we've found over the past year or so to make, make this glitch as best as it possibly can be. Um, I'll also add my DM trailer frequently asked questions video in the description below which could help you with any issues you may encounter. Don't forget that you can always drop a comment and I will get back to you if you need any further assistance with this glitch. So, to get started, the first thing you have to do, if you haven't already, is head into story mode and you'll need to find a peyote plant which unlocks a bird character for the director mode. I'm showing you the location of the best one that I like to use all the time because it'll give you one of the small birds like a seagull or a pigeon or something like that. Um, this is the location on the map in story mode, just grab yourself a helicopter and fly up to the top of the building. Now, as I say, you'll need to use one of the smaller birds because if you use one of the larger birds to duplicate, it can actually cause the PS4 to blow screen or the Xbox to crash when you try to bring the outfits online. So, if you haven't already unlocked a bird, just head over to this location, eat the peyote plant and as you see, you'll unlock a, cat, a pigeon for the director mode. Once you have the bird unlocked, open up your interaction menu and head into director mode. Once you get into director mode guys, if you have any outfits or anything inside of your short list, just remove them all. Make the short list empty and go to actors and go down to online characters. Press triangle or Y on the character that you want to bring the outfit online with to shortlist it. Once the character, your online character has been shortlisted, just back out and head into Animals and shortlist the bird that you have just unlocked. So for me that will be the Pigeon. Now inside of your shortlist there should only be the online character that you're going to bring the outfit online with and the bird. Once you have it looking like this guys, just simply back out and exit to story mode. Now just launch an invite only session and once you have spawned into the invite only session grab yourself a street vehicle, it can be an NPC one or it can be one of your own. Head over to the time trial which is the purple stopwatch icon on the map as you can see here. Don't forget it changes location every Thursday I think it is now. And once you have got to the stopwatch, or the time trial sorry, just Drive the street vehicle into it and press right D-pad to start the time trial. Once the time trial has started, all you need to do is hold down on the D-pad and select any story mode character you like to back out into single player. Now this is actually what's going to help us bring the outfit online every single time. Once you have loaded into story mode, all you need to do is open up the interaction menu and again launch director mode. When you get into director mode, all you need to do is go down to your shortlist actors and you're going to press and hold down on the D-pad or the analog stick whatever and switch between both the online character and the birds. Now you should notice the birds starting to duplicate every time you move over to the hay bale. 
if this isn't happening for you guys all you need to do is just back out of the director mode head online equip a parachute onto your online character then start the time trial again return to director mode and go to your shortlist actors switching between them will now duplicate the birds but as you see here the birds are duplicating this is a lengthy process guys so if you grab yourself a rubber band or something just wrap it around your controller holding the analog stick up or down and you're going to have to set yourself an alarm for about 25 minutes it takes normally 22 to 25 minutes for the birds to fully duplicate and what we're looking for is the online character to move over to the hay bale now a couple of things I can mention here guys if you want to use the jogger method to get joggers and gorka pants things like that a lot more um, then you are going to have to catch the online character almost as soon as it goes over to the hay bale. So I'm going to be showing you that in this video. What I mean um, is actually just getting the character to fall off of the hay bale using one of the glitched outfits to get back on the hay bale. This will find joggers, gorka pants, cool looking outfits a lot more quickly. But you can also max duplicate the birds and by that I mean leaving the camera switching just like this back and forth between the birds and the online character. Leave it for that for an extra 5 minutes or so, so about 30 minutes duplicating the birds. That way all the birds are max duplicated and your character won't fall off. To me I prefer doing it this way because we actually don't have any issues with getting the character back on plus we're going to be freezing the Christmas mask in that anyway so every outfit is going to have the Christmas mask. So once you have eventually got the character onto the hay bale as I'm going to show you right here. All that you need to do now once the character is on the hay bale is remove both the online character and the bird from your short list. So simply press triangle or Y to remove both of them emptying up your short list. Once you've done that go to actors then go to any category you wish apart from animals and start to press square or X on Xbox to search through the outfits. Now you'll see all these cool awesome looking modded outfits popping up what we're going to be looking for is one of the Christmas masks so these are the Christmas masks which will work for you the regular Santa Claus mask has been giving people a lot of issues when trying to bring outfits online so that doesn't really work anymore try to avoid that my best ones I prefer are the gingerbread or the penguin so just look for any of those kind of Christmas masks as you see here, the Christmas pudding etc. And once you come across these outfits you just need to shortlist them and we're going to use those for freezing. So to get the Christmas masks, joggers, gun belts etc frozen onto all the outfits you're searching for, all you need to do is head into your shortlist actors and hold down on the D-pad. On PlayStation you'll spam square, on Xbox you'll spam X at the same time as holding down, then quickly back out into actors, go to any of the categories and press square or X to see if any of the items from the outfits in your shortlist have frozen. Now I actually prefer to use the same mask while in the shortlist as you can see here. You can use different masks, different Christmas masks if you wish to try, um, I prefer to use the same one. But beware guys, it is going to take you a good few minutes to get this thing to freeze. It's not going to freeze first attempt, so this is where patience is required. It can take hours to build outfits, it can even take days at times, but if you have the time, the patience, then go for it. Don't forget, if you're not interested in building the outfits, you just want some cool looking modded outfits, all you need to do is just forget the freeze method, find a Christmas mask and transfer it online. Bear in mind that the outfits need to be clean and by that I mean nothing like Christmas pants, Christmas tops, scarves, um, some check things could be Christmas stuff and also some t-shirt logos will not transfer over. Those will cause a generic outfit when you spawn online because certain items have been blacklisted. Now racing suit logos, biker suit logos like the Sprunk ones and all that they are perfectly fine. They are all good. 
um, they actually help to keep things like the invisible arms as you can see here so those are pretty decent just beware of t-shirt logos and by t-shirt logos i mean things like the ammunition t-shirt vinewood zombies t-shirt things like that the logos off of them are the main cause of outfits not being transferred online so that is the freeze method guys if you have successfully completed that or if you're not interested in it moving on to the next part as you'll see here i have the christmas mask gun belt and yellow gorkas all frozen onto every outfit that i'm searching now i've done this the exact same way as i just showed you i froze the christmas mask then i found the christmas mask and gun belt combo so shortlisted that then at the end of the video i'll show you a few little tricks that you can use to actually kind of duplicate the outfit so that you're not having to search for another christmas mask combo it's just using actors that are already in and they can change certain things like the pants the tops things like that show you all that at the end of the video so what i done was have two outfits with the christmas mask and gun belt managed to freeze those one of those outfits actually had the gorka pants and that's how i managed to get the gorka pants frozen but as i say the freeze method is a process that will take time and will take a little bit of patience guys so all you need to do is scroll through until you find the outfit that you like if you're not down for doing the freeze method then simply just find your outfit with the christmas mask of course and transfer it online so one last thing i'll show you before transferring the outfit online which is how to get the iaa badges onto your outfit once you have the outfit that you want to transfer online in your shortlist, all you need to do is head back to Actors, any category you like, and scroll through the outfits. You'll eventually come across one which has the IAA badge on the chest and you'll see the cop badge on the right hip. Once you see this on any outfit, doesn't matter which one it is, simply back out of the menu and head into your shortlist Actors. Once you're in your shortlist actors, you'll see that the IAA badge and the cop badge is now on every single outfit that is in your shortlist, provided that you have removed the bird and the online character. Sometimes scrolling by those, if they're in your shortlist still, can remove the accessories. This will also work for the stethoscope, the paramedics badge, any shirt and, tie, uh, shirt and scarf sorry, that you like. Um, obviously the most popular is the IAA badges. So once you have all that guys, you are ready to transfer the outfit online. And to do this, all you need to do is select the outfit that you want from your shortlist. I'll be using this one here with the yellow gorkas and the checks. Press X or A to take the outfit into uh, director mode. And once you're in director mode, all you have to do is hold down on the D-pad and select any story mode character that you want. After a few seconds, you'll get an alert to leave director mode. Just accept that and after a about five seconds or so you'll spawn into story mode with the outfit bring up the online options go to online tab and start up an invite only session now once you spawn in you'll notice you'll get a timed out alert just like this on the screen that's totally normal now all you need to do is accept that you will respawn in story mode simply bring up the online options again and start up an invite only session this time you will spawn into the invite only with no timed out alerts and you will be wearing the modded outfit, hell yeah! Provided again guys that there's no blacklisted items like Christmas items, cop shirt, um, the green garbage man pants, those aren't working. The yellow one, the yellow high vis vest as well, that is also blacklisted, things like that and as I mentioned earlier dodgy kind of t-shirt logos as well provided none of those are on your outfit then you are absolutely golden now the problem with that is if you have any of the kind of blacklisted items or logos on your outfit logos will probably still transfer the outfit over it just means it won't save for you if you have any blacklisted items you will spawn in with a pair of generic white joggers and black t-shirt kind of thing so you don't want to be doing all this effort for this glitch to get the outfit messed up because of some silly logo or a pair of 
pants that you've not noticed are Christmas. <laughs> so just be aware guys when you're selecting the outfit that you want to bring online. So all that's left to do now is head over to any store, any wardrobe and save your outfit. And that is you, you have successfully completed the DM trailer glitch, hell yeah, well done you. So, as I said at the start of the video guys, I'm going to show you just a few things here at the end that will maybe help you in the process of doing this DM trailer glitch. So, the tips and tricks that we have for you are some actors that can actually help to clean your outfits or if you're doing the freeze method, like I said earlier, I prefer to use the same mask, I think it helps to freeze the mask a little quicker. So all I would do, for instance, is have one outfit like this in my shortlist, then if I go to the professionals tab, you will notice that when you scroll past the chef outfit, uh, the chef actor, sorry, it will change the underneath t-shirt, which is torso one I believe, to a crew t-shirt. That actually cleans it up. Problem there though is if you're trying to clean a t-shirt that has a gun belt on it, it will remove the gun belt as you've seen with the purple armour there. I actually took that away from that outfit. Now also in the professional category, using the hairdresser can actually add a kind of different colour of armour. I don't know if you noticed there but the armour changed from black to grey. Um, so that's something else if you're maybe looking for grey armour on one of your outfits. In the emergency services you'll find the LSFD actor. If you press square or X on that it will actually change all of the items on the outfit to a different colour. Again, if you're using this while you have a gun belt on, it will remove the gun belt. So don't forget to shortlist the actor before you actually use any of these. And finally, if you go to costumes, scroll past the spy actor, you'll see that your character gets given a pair of checkered shorts. Now, this is actually a good one if you have maybe found a Christmas mask on a gun belt, but you have something like Santa pants or something on the outfit, then this is actually a good one to use to clean that. So, just to quickly discuss the jogger method we spoke about at the start of the video, if, if you have deleted the online character and the bird from your shortlist, basically as soon as the online character went over to the hay bale, then you may notice after a little while searching through the outfits that the regular GTA character actors appear. There is no longer any glitched outfits, so easy fix as you'll see in just a second. When this happens to you, just go into animals, then shortlist the bird again by pressing triangle or Y, head back into shortlist actors and take any glitched outfit that you have in there into director mode. Once you have entered director mode with the glitched outfit, just simply move around for a second or two, hold down in the D-pad and this time select the trailer and return to the trailer. When the camera pans into the trailer, spam up on the D-pad and your character should move over to the birds. Now, it could take us a few tries doing that, it could take maybe two, three, four attempts to get the glitched outfit character back onto the hay bale. As you've seen, it happened for me first time there, so just persevere with that if you need to. But as I say earlier guys, I actually prefer max duplicating the birds for 30-35 minutes or so, and that way we're freezing everything, we're freezing the masks, the pants, the gun belts etc, and we don't have to deal with all this process. Um, things like this, it can the character can fall off again and you may have to do that step again, so it, to me it's just a little bit of a rigmarole that you don't have to actually go through. So that is it for me in this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Boy out. Peace.